Let's see if we can make some easy birria tacos for regular dudes like you and me. The truth is I've been wanting to make these for about a year now, but I haven't because I'm scared. And this really isn't my wheelhouse, man. I'm good at like burgers, breakfast, and drinking beer. But I can't roll around with a Bob Ross shirt on unless I'm willing to make happy little accents myself. Man, I miss that wig. Had to throw it away. My dog peed on it. I think he thought it was a bush or something. Anyways, I got a Chuck Rose for two reasons. One, obviously, <laughs> it's on sale. And the other one I'll go over a little later here, but I'm going to pat it down, slice off the uh, fat here, just a little bit, not too much fat, because that was my second problem I came up with. First was the beef issue, and then second was dipping the tacos and making sure there's enough fat for the tortillas, which when I'm cooking, you'll see that. But really with this roast, it's two pounds. I'm just going to slice it up into big chunks, and then I'm going to throw it into the crock pot. And here's the reason why. I ended up settling on this cut of beef. So I'm trying to look up some recipes and like my main issue with this is like it's got either like things I don't want to buy or I don't know what they are. There's like beef short rib which is expensive and then there's like oxtail. I've never made that before. I don't know if I'm that adventurous right now. Or there's some dried peppers that I've never heard of. I think they're wajillo peppers and there's just like a lot going on if you look at these recipes. So I'm trying to find one that's like I can dumb down a little bit. There's a couple I've seen on YouTube videos as well that I'll take a look at. But like, how can we make it like a little bit easier and cheaper? I'm thinking I'm gonna lean towards like a chuck roast, right? Like we'll just go get a chuck roast, and then that'll be cheaper to make, and maybe not do the beef short ribs and the oxtail, and still just cook it till it breaks down, you know. Cut this onion in half. I'm going to dice up half of it to put in the crock pot. The other half we're going to save to go inside our tacos. Dice tomatoes in a can, easy peasy. Chipotle peppers in a can. We're going to take two of them out. We're going to chop those up real fine. This gives a lot of great flavor. The Wajillo peppers with these would have been great, um, but you know I wasn't adventurous enough to do that and rehydrate them. Maybe next time we'll give that a try. A little bit of cumin sprinkled in there oregano going in there also you could use mexican oregano if you had it i just used what i had apple cider vinegar just to cut it a little bit with some acidity garlic already diced up because i am lazy salt and pepper time be generous with this beef stock a lot of recipes called for bouillon cubes i just like to get beef stock i did two cups of it gave it a lot of good flavor few baby carrots just for the heck of it then we gave it all a mix put our lid back on set this thing on low let it cook for six to eight hours so I got all four burners on low on the griddle right now it's still warming up it's only been about uh, seven minutes or so uh, let's see what temp is yeah we're just at 300 310 290 so that's a little lower but you know what it's not gonna hurt anything because it's gonna keep warming up let's go ahead and get these tacos on and uh, get these birria started to rock and roll so look here's what we're gonna do try to get it so we can see everything here we're gonna take some flour and some corn I'm gonna do two of each just to see the difference and then we're gonna dip them in the top of all of this fat that's on top of here so I mean let's zoom in there is juice from the beef broth and everything and there's also fat so you got to make sure you don't really want to like soak it all the way down in you just kind of want to go across the top layer where I didn't skim off any of the fat okay that's what we're gonna do then we're gonna cook it in that fat I'm also actually before we do this uh oh gonna put down a little bit of oil just to give it a help on the griddle just to help get that fat going down because um, I don't know how much fat I got in here so I'm just going to put some avocado oil on the griddle, spread that around so that we got a little bit of extra fat on there. So these uh, tortillas, I mean, we really want to crisp up the tortillas. That's the, that's the star of the show here is crispy tortillas with that delicious beef inside. So we want to make sure we don't just get them dark. A lot of times I see people just get them dark and I, you know, this isn't my authentic recipe, but I don't think that's the point of birria. It's not just to 
dunk these things down in there and get them dark the point is to use the fat and then get them nice and crispy so let's see here so just kind of just drag them off the top here and you can see that's not like dunking it i'm not like drowning this tortilla in the birria mixture i'm just putting take trying to take the fat off and honestly this is probably how they used to get fat off the top of their soups because a lot of times people skim soups so as i'm doing this i would bet that is why they did it and then it ended up just sucking up the fat into these tortillas and then made like an unbelievable taco but i don't know again this is uh this isn't my wheelhouse you know i uh born and raised in ohio i don't know a lot of authentic beer year recipes i can give you an authentic corn on the cob recipe if you want that that's an ohio thing but this is a little bit outside of where I normally am, but I think we can get it done. I think we can get it done easy and without a, you know, the knockoff way. Definitely not an authentic way, but it's a, it's a knockoff way. It's a poor man's version. Okay. Let's see here. So now I'm going to take my beef. We're going to fill each one. There's some carrots in there. And I always put too much whenever I do stuff like this. So just put a little bit in there, a little bit of beef. I could have done the cheese first, but I didn't think about that. So we'll do the cheese second, a little bit of beef. If you're in a restaurant, this is called portion control. But honestly, I don't want them to be too big. I don't want them just full of beef um, because it'll be too hard to eat that way. So you can do a little more if you want, whatever suits you, whatever float your boat. This is just how much I'm putting in mine. And then this is just mozzarella cheese because that's what I had. Obviously, you know, any white cheese. I cannot remember the name of the white cheese that is traditional in this from watching the videos. Someone comment below what it is. I'm sure somebody knows and we would appreciate any suggestions. Okay. And then we'll put some cilantro and onions in after they're cooked so first of all we're gonna cook them then we'll probably kind of open them back up let's see what we're looking like ah okay so we're not getting too toasted yet but i put these corn ones down second and we're at 300 degrees oh there we go that's what we're talking about that's the one we wanted to look for flour just always looks better i don't know if flour tortillas taste better but i'll tell you what on camera and stuff, they look better. They always look better. So let's get a nice little, this will be an opening shot. Watch this guys, right? Oh yeah, look at that. That is a birria taco, woo. Okay, so. Flip, nope, corn one's still got a ways to go. Holy smokes, that looks good. That one looks even better. Yeah, those are starting to look real good. Corn ones still aren't quite toasting up yet, so there we go. That one's starting to look a little better. And that one's starting to look a little better, but still, we got a ways to go. They don't look like these ones. Let's take a look inside. Yes, sir, that's a good looking poor man's birria taco. Just need to load that up with some more stuff here. All right, so open this thing back up open this one back up diced onions in here one diced onions in this one a little bit of cilantro cilantro and I'm gonna squeeze a lime a little bit here too just to Give it a little bit of citrus, and then we're gonna fold them back up. All right, the corn ones are starting to look pretty good. Oh, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. Number two, what's behind door number two? Woo! Go ahead and put a little bit of onions in this one. Cilantro. Fold them back up. Yep. That's looking good. Yep. What are we at over here? Oh man. Oh. 
We are looking good. I don't know which one is going to be better. This is going to be a tough call. I think I'm going to have to eat all four of them and then just see which one I like the best. All right, it's time for the taste test. Let's see how I did. I've never made these before. And I did corn, flour. This is the juice. Kind of like a birria au jus. I think it's got a name. I'm not sure. Um, let's take a look at this first. Oh, buddy, look at that. Okay. Flower one, very good. Very chalupa y, if you're familiar. We'll dip it into a little bit of this. Even more of that. And that's another reason you don't need to like dunk the tortilla at the beginning because you're just going to dip it back into this. So, what's the point? Mmm. Man, that's good. Man, that is good. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A lot of Chipotle flavor from those smoked Chipotles. Very good. Let's check out the corn one here. Okay, pretty good pull on the corn. Not perfect. Hmm. Also very, <clears throat> very good. Obviously the same insides. <clears throat> I'm gonna dip it. Man, I, I, don't I don't know. I thought it was gonna be the flour one for sure. I really thought it was gonna be the flour one. But I think the traditional way to do it is with corn, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. I like the corn one better. I do. I just, I didn't think I would, I do. Don't mess with uh, the way it's supposed to be. This is gonna knock something out of my top 10 griddle meals. I mean, it's, it really is, it's that good. If you wanna see my top 10 griddle meals, they're on the screen now. Thanks so much for watching. I think I'm gonna start my diet next week.